Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and salam Malaysia Madani. Today, I'm going to brief the revised STPN examination syllabus chemistry 962. The chemistry syllabus aims to enhance candidates' knowledge, understanding and applications of chemistry. It enables them to advance their studies at institutions of higher learning and assist them to pursue chemistry-related careers. It will also instill awareness, develop attitudes and stimulate interest in the sustainability of nature and the universe. The objectives of the syllabus are to enable candidates to first understand facts, terminologies and principles of chemistry. Second, interpret scientific phenomena by using laws and chemical principles. Third, interpret and apply scientific information presented in various forms. Fourth, solve chemistry and related problems. Fifth, analyze, synthesize and evaluate information logically and critically. Sixth, plan, carry out experiments, draw inferences and make deductions. Seventh, handle scientific apparatus and chemical safety correctly and efficiently. Eight, develop positive attitudes and values towards the environment. Ninth, demonstrate good ethics and values in the practice of chemistry. And tenth, acquire generic skills. Next, we move to the scheme of assessments. At the end of each semester, there will be a written test. This test consists of three sections. Section A consists of 20 multiple choice questions, which carries 20 marks. Section B consists of two structured questions, which carries 14 marks. And Section C consists of two essay questions, which carries 26 marks. The candidates must answer all the questions. The total mark for each paper is 60 marks, which carries 26.67%. The duration of the test is 1.5 hours. The examination of semester 1, semester 2 and semester 3 will be centrally assessed by MPM. Next is chemistry paper 4. This paper is a coursework and the paper is designed for school candidates. The coursework consists of 15 experiments that should be done throughout the three semesters, where five experiments for each semester. Each experiment carries 15 marks. The total mark for this paper is 225 marks, which is equivalent to 20%. The coursework will be assessed by the subject teacher. Paper 5 consists of three structured questions. The total mark for this paper is 45 marks, which will be scaled to 20%. The duration for this paper is 1.5 hours and will be centrally assessed by MPM. Now, we proceed to the content of the syllabus for semester one. Topic one is atoms, molecules, and stoichiometry. This topic covers 1.1, relative atomic, isotopic, and molecular masses, and 1.2, the more concept. Next topic is electronic structure of atoms. This topic has three subtopics, which are 2.1, electronic energy levels of hydrogen atom, 2.2, atomic orbitals, S, P, and D, and 2.3, electronic configuration. For topic three, which is chemical bonding, there are four subtopics, 3.1 ionic bonding, 3.2 covalent bonding, 3.3 metallic bonding, and 3.4 intermolecular forces. Next is topic four. This topic is periodic table, periodicity. This topic is divided into three subtopics, 4.1 atomic and physical properties of period three elements, 4.2, reactions of period 3 elements with oxygen, and 4.3, acidity and basic properties of period 3 oxides. Topic 5 is about group 2, where the subtopic touches 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5
group 2 elements and compounds and 5.2 usage of group 2 compounds. For topic 6, which is group 14, the topic covers the subtopics 6.1, physical properties of group 14 elements, 6.2, tetrachloride and oxides of group 14 elements, and 6.3, relative stability of plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state of group 14 elements. Next is topic 7. This topic is group 17. The subtopics are 7.1, chemical properties of group 17 elements, 7.2, chemical properties of halides, and 7.3, industrial applications of halogens and their compounds. The last topic for semester 1 is topic 8, transition elements. This topic has four subtopics. 8.1, atomic and physical properties of first row transition elements. 8.2, chemical properties of first row transition elements. 8.3, nomenclature and bonding of complexes. And 8.4, Usage of first row transition elements and their compounds. Now, we move to the content of the syllabus for semester 2. The topic starts with states of matter. The topic covers 9.1 gases, 9.2 liquids and 9.3 solids. For the topic 10, equilibria, the subtopics are 10.1 chemical equilibria, 10.2 ionic equilibria and 10.3 solubility equilibria. Next is reaction kinetics. For this subtopic, for this topic, it will touch 11.1 rate law, 11.2 the effect of temperature on reaction kinetics, 11.3 the role of catalysts in reactions, and 11.4 order of reactions and rate constants. Topic 12 is chemical energetics. This topic has three subtopics which are 12.1 enthalpy changes, 12.2 Hess's law and 12.3 bond harbor cycle. The last topic for semester 2 is topic 13, electrochemistry. This topic is divided into five subtopics which are 13.1 half cell and redox equations, 13.2 standard reduction potential, 13.3 non-standard cell potential, 13.4 electrolysis, and 13.5 application of electrochemistry. Next, we look at the content of the syllabus for semester 3. Topic 14 is Introduction to Organic Chemistry. These subtopics are 14.1 Bonding in Organic Compounds, 14.2 Classification of Organic Compounds, 14.3 molecular structure and its effects on boiling points and 14.4 free radicals, nucleophiles and electrophiles. Next topic is hydrocarbons. Topic 15 divided into three subtopics. 15.1 alkenes, 15.2 alkenes and 15.3 arenes. For topic 16, namely haloalkenes, the topic has three subtopics which are 16.1 Introduction to haloalkanes, 16.2 chemical properties of haloalkanes and 16.3 usage of haloalkanes. Topic 17 is hydroxy compounds, where the topic breaks into three subtopics. 17.1 introduction to hydroxy compounds, 17.2 alcohols and 17.3 phenols. Next is topic 18, carbonyl compounds. The topic touches 18.1. Introduction to carbonyl compounds, 18.2 preparation of carbonyl compounds, and 18.3 chemical properties of carbonyl compounds. The 19th topic of semester 3 is carboxylic acids and derivatives. This topic covers 19.1 carboxylic acids, 19.2 acyl chlorides, 19.3 esters, and 19.4 amides. The next organic chemistry topic is amines and amino acid, where the subtopics are the same as the topic. And last but not least is topic 21, which is regarding two polymers. 
Next, we go through the coursework, which also known as paper four. The objectives of the coursework are to enable candidates to one, establish a practical work assessment system which is fair, accurate, and comprehensive. Two, improve the practical skills and the quality of practical work of students. And three, inculcate independence, teamwork, scientific attitudes, and critical thinking among students. And four, enhance the understanding of the theory. As I mentioned earlier, in the scheme of assessment for coursework, candidate required to conduct five experiments in each semester. For semester one, the experiments are as follows. One, acid-based titration. Two, volumetric analysis, purity and stoichiometry. Three, molecular geometry. Four, qualitative analysis of inorganic compound and five qualitative analysis of inorganic compound. Meanwhile, in semester two, the candidates will conduct these five experiments. First, equilibrium and solubility. Second, reaction kinetics. Third, catalytic decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Fourth, tumor chemistry. And fifth, electrochemistry, Faraday's laws. And the last semester, the candidates will conduct another five experiments, which are one, qualitative analysis, alkenes, alcohols, and phenol. Two, qualitative analysis of carbonyl compounds. Three, synthesis of an azo dye. Fourth, extraction of essential oils from citrus fruits. And fifth, preparation of carboxylic acid derivative. For written practical test, which is called as paper five, the main objectives of the test is to assess the student's understanding of practical procedures in the laboratory. The questions will test candidates' ability to one, record readings from diagrams of apparatus, two, describe and explain experimental arrangements techniques and procedures, three, complete tables of data and or plot graphs, four, interpret, analyze, and evaluate observations, experiment data, and make deduction, and fifth, perform calculation based on experiments. That's all about the briefing for the revised SAPM examination syllabus chemistry 962. I hope this explanation will boost teachers and candidates' understanding. Thank you and all the best.